first impression of the group there, you know, they're, they're a fun group and very uh, interactive with each other. But on the organisational front, a little bit concerned for tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, I think hopefully we'll get there. I took charge of the group immediately because I see so much work to do and so little time to do all of that. So I said, we have to move fast. We have to do something uh, uh, really quickly. Everybody here is really enthusiastic about doing something that we never did before. It's a big challenge, and people in this group like the ch like challenge. I'm looking after the team that's responsible for uh, building the castle and the decking. Because I'm the sort of spokesperson and the team leader, I think it's kind of working okay because it means I'm not people aren't having to flip between English and French. So they can get on with speaking French and sorting out what they need to do and then feeding back to English. So it's a lot more efficient. So I've been following this program since the third time. And, um, and I thought, you know, it's very important for me to be part of the group to actually take part of these activities because I know from previous experience that it's very high impact. Uh, apart from a cold day, um, <laughs> for tomorrow I guess uh, it's going to be, um, we try to organize everything now, uh, but I'm afraid tomorrow it's going to be probably a bit more messy, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> we will have probably to be more pragmatic once we're on the ground. It's a room full of people actually <laughs> that are quite under pressure. We see some anxious face faces, some um, Confused people, not knowing uh, how to deal with the, everything they have to deal with in a, a very short time of period. Yeah, my expectations are high that we complete the project on time to a very high standard. Um, I can't accept anything less, really. <laughs>
I think the team spirit is great. You know, it looks like you've known each other for uh, far more than 48 hours. So I think it's been a success on that side of things. But I think people are really keen to get the project finished and. Uh, and, and it's not from the lack of trying, definitely. I think it's, it's a good uh, experience in delegation because uh, you need to be confident that the other guys are going to uh, be on time and do their part of the work. Things like this, it's always important just to keep, keep people um, positive and keep the momentum going. So uh, I suppose going back to the office, trying, trying to keep a smile on your face, kind of keep people motivated, that's all you can ask for really and the rest falls into place hopefully. I think we need a little leadership pick up here because uh, people are working on their own projects and I bet you if you ask them how far are you from being done they would say oh we need another 45 minutes and if you ask them no no but the whole project everybody would go I don't know. Nobody's too cold, people are not standing around, people are moving, but I think they're, they're working in their silos, they're very task driven. First, maybe this one is a, is a good one. <laughs> so, choose your colleague, choose your partner and the right one. I would like to leave here, that's it. <laughs> it's wonderful. Nearly done, but we were waiting for those guys to, to finish on your castle, on our castle, so it's nearly done. I would say half, half an hour. lovely and the result is uh, striking in fact so uh, I think the kids will be very very pleased to see uh, what we've built today Wow most challenging project ever ice bus not showing up roads being cut off uh, actually ambulance on site but bravo they did it they did it things to work out but they did it they delivered and it is a top class and look how happy the kids are and uh, just look at all the children, they're playing, they're enjoying, so we're very proud of them. Yeah. You know, it's actually really gratifying to see the products of our labour, the fruits of our labour, and that it's going to go to a good cause. And I think, you know, comparing that to a day in the office and you don't really have something tangible at the end of it, I think this is a really, really uh, great feeling. So. Awesome! Hi, hello guys from Vivendi, hello Brazil, GBT, bye bye. We are ready, we will do it. Lovely. Just one word, very nice. Uh, a word from my wife. I did it, not alone, but I did it really. She's not going to believe me. Well, I'm Philip from uh, SFR and I'm very uh, excited by the, this new experience. Yes, we can. I'm Olivier. <laughs> I'm not on great challenge and great experience. Just SFR, it's pretty cool. Positive. Tired but happy. Big pleasure. <laughs> Just do it. Go, go, go. I'm not tired from the moment. Freezing. I feel like making a castle this afternoon. You know what? I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs>